Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider? You become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And... The spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? the little chrysalids the message that I love them and that despite my craven heart I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough what's this a keepsake from my men oh goodness me I can't table hold. Perhaps I'll find my purpose there. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers and gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Oh, and please allow me to express my thanks for giving me that keepsake from my men. 
It was as if I was frozen with self-pity. I failed them at every turn. You have my gratitude. Please, take this. You're a new face. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. The curly boy here. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit chimney. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Now, those are of a chalified and what. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. 
long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. Take a look around. The round table hold is burned, raised to the ground. Don't worry, I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to 
slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> what use have I for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? <laughs> 